Welcome, ladies and gents, to Doing It This Week. I'm going to dive into stories that I find interesting. And what's the biggest story in the world right now? The wars in the world, yeah. climate change, the fact that our government can't get along. Yeah. Nope. It's these two, Jada and Will what? Smith. I'm not sure what's happened to our media, but it seems like we've had a breakdown of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's marriage, like it was Watergate or the moon landing, <laughs> but the moon landing was more believable at this point. This is, of course, it came after the slap heard around the world when Will Smith got up in the middle of the Oscars. During a night when he was all but set to win the Oscar, the thing that will secure his legacy in Hollywood. Right. Yep. He came from being the Fresh Prince from West Hollywood or West Philadelphia, yep. where he was born and raised, then got shipped out to fancy LA to live in a nice mansion in Bel Air. Okay, maybe that's a little embellished, but it was sort of the same situation. And now you get up and slap a guy that's half your size and you've destroyed your entire legacy for the rest of your days over what? An eye roll from a lady sitting next to him who apparently wasn't even his wife at the time, who even up till then, had dragged him through the mud during her podcast. Yep. Not a network TV show or national radio show or movie tour, but her podcast, which really only picked up when she would talk about cheating on him. Uh -huh. And now she's doing all this destruction, and it was over an alopecia joke, which, let's be honest, we didn't even know she had it. She's yeah. a beautiful woman, so I just figured it was the look she was going. And now she's promoting a book. Great, that's where know. all this comes from, a book. <laughs> no one reads, it's an audio book, let's be honest. She's on a book tour to talk about the fact that she's been separated for seven years, all while trying to show off this happy little family life where, again, their kids have been a little awkward in the media as well. And don't forget the fact that her real love was Tupac. She let you know. She yep. says Tupac even proposed to her while he was in prison. Now, obviously, Will's going to run the other way, get out of this tox re toxic relationship, and hopefully rebuild his career, right? Nah. Nope. He showed up at an event last week unannounced to help promote her book in Baltimore and support her. Oh, so, boy. where does this end? What can come from this? I can't wait for the therapy sessions his kids will have to go through, which I'm sure will be live streamed on their mom's <laughs> network. Oh yes. wait, she doesn't have one. Oh, yeah. I, I, I bet Will wishes the one movie role that he played was real. No, not Men in Black so he could forget the whole thing with the flashy thing. It's Hitch <laughs> so he could get some of his own dating advice <laughs> because he would have been better off with Kevin James. <laughs> and they could have done it together. That's doing it for this week. All right, we're doing it, buddy. All right.